can almost feel the mugginess come through the picture there, can't every, you? Exa every now and then I'll like pop my head out the back door, just mm -hmm. a little fresh air. And I'm like, oh, wait, what am I doing? So I'm going to instantly sweat. I mean, it's just, it's thick out there. Yeah. And we've got the chance of some pop-up storms today. Trying to get one right at your house. I know you, your, your lawn <laughs> needs it. I know a lot of folks at home, that's the same story, but yeah. ample opportunity over the next seven days to get some of these pop-ups. Fingers stuff. crossed. There you go. Hey, let's talk about the forecast today. It's going to be another hot and humid one. If you want to take the kids to the playground, please do it this morning because it's just going to get hotter and hotter as we wait longer and longer into the day. Look, it's 87 at 9, 90 at 10, 91 at 11. We've already got a few isolated showers out there. Uh, up in Hopkinsville, an isolated shower, seeing one that's firing up in Henry County right now. And uh, we've been watching some of these around McMinnville as well. Let's look at this. Not seeing any lightning at this time here from the Power of Five radars. Uh, most of these firing up, kind of moving off to the east. Take that back. Let me look at one. Yep, there was actually a little bit of lightning right there around Crofton. It looks like uh, about 30 minutes ago. So I take that back. We have seen a, a few strikes of lightning now with some of these in southern Kentucky. McMinnville's had a few of these spotty showers, also south of Shelbyville right here in southern parts of Bedford County. As we go through the rest of the day, this is going to become more widespread in coverage. So that's why we're encouraging you. You know, you want to go to the park with kids, if you're trying to hit the links this morning, go play some tennis, whatever it may be. Morning time is the best time to do it because better chances of these pop-up showers and storms as we get towards the afternoon. Now, as far as organizational storms go, they could reach stronger severe limits. Very slight chance you could see one or two of those in southern Kentucky, hence the marginal potential that we have up there. Wind will be the big concern. Can never rule out some small hail with these summer storms and some heavy downpours as well. So that's what we're going to watch for as we go through the day. Let me show this to you on exact track, all right? Here we are scattered uh, with thunderstorms by lunchtime. This afternoon, notice there's more coverage, a little more widespread in southern Kentucky compared to the mid-state. So that's why we have that marginal risk up there, a little bit more in the way of ingredients with the cold front just to our north. Still scattered as you get ready to head out for Saturday night, but dying down once we lose the heating of the day. Then we see more storms firing up tomorrow as the heating of the day fires up. They'll start to fizzle out as we lose the heating of the day. On Monday, scattered storm chances firing up with the heating of the day. Once sunset occurs just after 8, we'll start to see that activity dying down. So I don't think it'll be problematic in canceling uh, firework festivities, but we could. it wouldn't surprise me, I should say, to see one or two maybe pushed back a few minutes uh, as we wait for these storms to fizzle out, the ones that start closer to 8.30. I think if you're starting after 9, we'll be in good shape. Speaking of 9, let's look at 9 this morning. 87 degrees, 92 with some scattered storms at noon, and 94 by 3. So if you are heading to the lake today, please make sure you got that Storm Shield app handy. Make sure you are remaining weather aware so that uh, you remain safe out there. Fourth of July, storm chances continuing really throughout the next seven days. It's hot, it's humid, mid to upper 90s for the upcoming week with lows in the mid to upper 70s. Like I said, a hot and humid forecast. Our weather art, uh, you may remember Colton from a couple weeks ago. He's an aspiring meteorologist. He and his brother Easton stopped by to learn about weather. Well, Colton sharing this thank you letter with sunshine in there, so decided to make it our weather art for this Saturday morning. Appreciate Colton and look forward to down the road when he's potentially a member of the Storm 5 weather team, Jennifer.